Welcome to the Lisbury Baptist Church uh, YouTube channel and our journey through Advent, looking at how God's promises are delivered. The greatest promise of all, that Jesus would come into this world. Now last week, um, you would have seen the video about how the Word became flesh. The promises that were made of Jesus coming as the light into the world and the Bible reading we had from John's Gospel. Well, that was you know, at the start of John's Gospel in the New Testament. But we can go right back hundreds of years before Jesus was born and see how the promises were made of Jesus coming into the world. The promises that God had a rescue plan. God saw his people needing a saviour. How we need a saviour. How would God deliver this rescue plan? How would this promise be delivered? Well, let's look right back to the promises that were made. They're often referred to in the Bible as prophecies, predictions for the future. And it's incredible as we look at some of these verses, how every single one of them would come true. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be the child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called. Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. But you, Bethlehem Epaphra, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. There were some of the prophecies which were given about the birth of Jesus, given hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Do we find that amazing? To think that that was written all those years before and would come true. And there's plenty more about Jesus' life, um, even later on about his death and his resurrection, prophecies that were given. And those ones there, just a little snapshot there of what would happen, of God's rescue plan how a child would be given to us, given to us to be saviour. That rescue plan that had been promised long ago. For many people, they probably you know, would have given up hope of this ever happening. And yet here it is. It just shows what a faithful God we have. The promise that he would rule, of his government there would be no end. The promise of who he would be that word Messiah, that Jesus would come to be a saviour for all. 
the promise that started long ago. How encouraged are we by that promise to know that those words were written hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus and yet would come true. How amazing is that? Does that show us how amazing God is? How faithful God is? That these things that were written so long ago would come true. We might even ask the question, you know, well, perhaps Jesus could have, could have gone back and read those prophecies and then looked to have gone and fulfilled them. These are prophecies about him being born. Even where, of where he would be born, but he would be born in Bethlehem. How amazing is that? To know that all of that would come true as well. What a faithful God we have. And these prophecies, all of them from hundreds of years before, would be delivered would come true. We should be encouraged today to know that as God had that rescue plan for his people, he meant it for us as well. We have a God that we can trust in, a God that we can believe in and know that he is faithful. God is good and faithful to us. And just as those words were written in the Old Testament, we, we can see as we look over the coming weeks about the birth of Jesus, how they came true. How the word that was given to the prophets hundreds of years before was right. How they trusted in God and how they would see God's plans, God's promises being fulfilled. You know, in our, our, own, in our own world, in our own lives, we, we know of experiences of promises not being kept, of promises being broken. And yet here, we read of God's faithful promises, all of which would come true. On this day, let us remember that we have a faithful God who loved his people so much, who loved us so much, that he sent Jesus into the world. But a God who is so reliable, whose promises, promises that were made years ago, would come true. What a faithful God we have. And next week we'll think about waiting, you know, waiting and preparing for those promises, how people waited for the promises to be fulfilled and what we can do right now, preparing ourselves for Jesus.